Well, good morning again, Social Work 300. Today I'm going to give you a very brief uh, overview uh, and introduction to using SPSS. It's, SPSS is a statistical package for the social sciences. Um, let me give you a few words of warning. Um, and I know since you're very new to SPSS, um, this may not make much sense right now, but I'm sure you'll come back to it later and you'll see that it makes perfect sense. Um, when you get when you're at the point where you need to print um, SPSS, any data files or output files, print conservatively, which means never print or turn in for me more than the first five pages of your data or output files. And when I say it, unless it's absolutely necessary, that's only if I ask for it. Save obsessively. You need to make sure you bring your USB drive or um, you should have access to the internet in the social work computer lab where we have SPSS and you could upload your data or your syntax or maybe even your output files to uh, your email account if you don't have a USB drive and you need to take a file um, with you or you could um, save files to your folder on the social work server but we'll talk more about that in class. How do you start SPSS? First and foremost, just like any other program, it's going to be located on the dock of your Apple Macintosh computer. Um, it's, the dock is either at the bottom or on the, I'm sorry, left-hand side of the computer screen, not necessarily the right-hand side. If you don't see it on the dock, then double-click on the hard drive and you should, usually in the applications folder, you'll see SPSS. Double click on the SPSS program, not the tutorial, not the README, not any of these other files. Um, you don't need those at this point. Double click on the icon itself. Now be patient. Sometimes SPSS can take a minute or two to load, um, but it'll be ready for you to start entering data or commands as soon as you see in the lower uh, right left hand <laughs> corner of your screen. SPSS processor is ready. Uh, sometimes you'll see that the processor is running. Uh, it'll say, it'll actually say SPSS processor is running. You need to be patient and wait and let SPSS finish loading the data file. Then you can do whatever it is you need to do with it. Three windows will open up for you. One will be your data file, the other will be your syntax file, and the other will be your output. See? Data, syntax, output. Your data file is where you'll enter data manually uh, fr from the results of your surveys, or it may be a data file, a secondary data source that's already been collected that um, I've uh, advised or allowed or you selected to use. A syntax file is where the commands are actually written, which allow you to tell SPSS what you need it to do for you. The output file is Basically, the output is what you get after you enter syntax commands and you tell SPSS what you want it to do. How do you get to tell SPSS what to do? Let me skip back a little bit here. When you enter your commands in the syntax window, there's a little button here. It's so tiny, I know it's really hard to see. And that's your run command. Let me go. The run tool, excuse me, run tool will basically tell SPSS, okay, this is what I want you to do with this file, run it, execute, so forth. We'll go over it in class. It'll be real simple. Once you start using it, you'll see how simple this is. It's, it's, a, little, it's a little harder for me to explain than when you actually end up doing it, and you'll see how easy it is. So don't let all these words and pictures and new things intimidate you. So once again, Pasting is very important, and we'll talk about that some more in class, or you can slow this slideshow down and read it uh, yourself, get a little deeper into it. Take notes. Um, you probably, within your own personal notebooks, you'll, you'll take notes of, you know, things that you're doing that makes it easier for you to use SPSS. Check your variables. We'll get into that a little more in class. Save obsessively because SPSS will lock up on you, so make sure you've saved it or you're going to have to go back and do things all over again. And last but not least, make sure you print conservatively. Don't print out 300 pages of data files. It's not necessary. Never more than the first five pages. Well, believe it or not, that is the very basic introduction to SPSS. Now, I know you're going to have questions. You may end up frustrated, but be cool. You'll be fine. Good luck.